just arrived at site at the Carrick and we are off to meet the developer. On site the Carrick today with Harriet from the Mandel Group. Hi Stacey. The site is very well connected. You arrive off the main street uh, with a bus stop on your doorstep which will take you into the city centre in 15 minutes. Harriet, can you talk to us a bit more about what's going on in the local area? Yeah, sure. So directly behind we've got Water of Leaf. Behind that, to the north of the building, you've got Staunton Park. Um, there's tennis courts and a large green space there for recreational use. And then beyond that, just slightly beyond that, there is Carrick Knoll Golf Course, which is a full 18 hole golf course. So Murrayfield Rugby Stadium is also really close by, isn't it? Yeah, five minute drive. <laughs> Everything <laughs> Okay, so we know we've had a few delays. Can you just talk us through what the delays have actually stemmed from? Yeah, of course. So we did all our drawings. We started on site and then the Scottish government introduced regulation, which means that we need a uh, Scottish engineer. Their drawings are slightly more complex. More information is required by the council. So these do take longer to do. So essentially you've had to stop on site, get new drawings resubmitted, and then once those are approved, you can start on site again. Exactly. And you expect that to be mid end of January? Yeah, soon after Christmas. With the updated drawings, has anything changed or will they follow the same design and layout as the previous drawings? Everything will remain the same to those that are buying. It's more of a technical aspect that the engineers need to look at with regards to the seal structure of the building rather than any layout or structure of the building itself. Can you talk us through the timelines a bit? Are we still on time to complete next year? We are still on time to complete in August 2024. We are planning to recommence development on site second or third week of January. Harriet, can you talk to us a bit about what's going on in the rest of this building? Yeah, certainly. So this one here is of kind of residential. The one behind us, Riverside House, that has plans to be redeveloped into residential. It's currently an empty office building. So this is about our eighth scheme with Mandel, Yes, correct? I believe so, yeah. Why have you guys now chose to develop an Edinburgh? It was an opportunity that came up that we that we couldn't refuse. We always struggled to find good opportunities in Edinburgh, and this was one of them. And you know, we, we made the bid, and we were we were lucky enough to, to secure the site. And that's you know that's why we're here. It's cold today. I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it does get nice in the summer. <laughs> 